Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Landsman. Today, we're diving into one of the most important frontiers in AI, agentic interoperability. Since launching Agent Force last year and the leading AI agent ecosystem, Agent Exchange, in March, we've seen thousands of customers enhance their use of Salesforce with powerful agents and partner built components. Our partners are now powering a $6 trillion agent economy by building and enabling a whole new category of agent first businesses. But now the big, next big question is, how do we get these agents to work seamlessly and securely with external agents and enterprise data sources and tools? Today, I'm joined by Gary Lerhop from Salesforce, Yashoda Bhavnani from Box, and Tom Strader from Seismic. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Gary, I want to start with you. Why do companies need to be agent first, and what does it take to become an agentic enterprise? Thanks, Brian. First of all, excited to be here with this group. Being agent first, the idea of agentic transformation is a huge imperative for organizations. Something like over 80% of CIOs saying AI will be as significant a business as the rise of the internet was in the early 2000s. And that's because by building a digital workforce of AI agents alongside humans, organizations stand to realize unprecedented productivity gains and basically the creation of entirely new business opportunities. If you think back to that rise of the web metaphor I was just talking about, there's a really big parallel here. Uh, there's a huge difference back then from companies who just added a website to their business versus those that embraced how the web forced them to rethink the servicing of their customers, how their employees could work together in better new ways. So we're basically at the same type of inflection point moment today, but now with agent first. And so companies need to think about transforming their enterprise into an agentic enterprise. So what does that take? Basically, it's about embracing open standards to interconnect your systems and plug them into agent-driven experiences. Standards like MCP and A2A are, are gaining traction, they're coming on strong, and they form the backbone of interoperability between agents. Now with Agent Force 3 in this launch, we're delivering enterprise-grade AI, supporting those standards, and that enterprise-grade comes from us building interoperability with things like governance, identity, and control at their foundation. You add that to a thriving open ecosystem of partner solutions, agents, and support tailored to customer-specific industries, and what you have is Salesforce delivering a trusted, open, and complete AI agent platform. That's what you need. That's what it takes. Tom, Seismic is a global sales enablement platform. You guys were very early adopter of Agentic AI, delivering some of the first Agentic solutions on our agent exchange. Can you share how Seismic is building on Agent Force and the advantage of building Agentic solutions for the agent exchange? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Brian. And I can't believe it's been almost maybe six months since we started this journey, yep. uh, released a few months ago, and the traction has been really phenomenal. Uh, and, and really just building for Agent Force is different than anything, uh, kind of like Gary was saying, it's different than how you thought about business a year or two ago. Uh, and as we think about developing on the agent exchange and releasing those features that our customers need, we're, we're really focusing on, on those pain points to solve for individual seller workflows and sales managers in a way that uh, agents can really take over a, a very big chunk of a workflow. And so today we have about eight actions on, on Agent Exchange, but we're adding more every week uh, because something like 80% of Seismic customers are already Salesforce customers. And as we transition from the era of you know, CRM to the era of agentic CRM, it was obvious to us that Agent Force was the place that sellers were going to be. And so it's been a really exciting journey to see the, the pull from our customers who are all trying to change the way that they sell, right? Similar to the, the, uh, the internet era, right? We're now in the AI era where, where people are really looking at how do we transform our sales motion? And we're excited that Seismic is, is playing a key role there. Uh, and, and the value we used to provide for human agents, we're now providing to AI agents. And so it's, a, it's an awesome time to be in the, in the sales space. That's great. Let's go over to you, Yoshoda, another great company, great enterprise software company, Box. Can you talk a little bit about some examples of, of actions or agents that are accelerating? Uh, how companies become agent first from your company? Absolutely. At Box, we have over 100,000 enterprises that rely on us for content services. And they rely on us to manage their knowledge work and also do it securely. We serve a majority of Fortune 500s and we also serve start startups across the globe. And we recently ran our state of AI report that revealed that 87% of companies are already leveraging AI agents and making them permissions aware is what really, really matters to them. And that's where Box is really leading the charge to empower two things. One is organizations to leverage AI and agents 
to power their knowledge work for individuals and also enterprises to power their workflows, making it seamless and obviously really, really secure through what we deliver at Box, which is permission aware AI agents and secure RAG. So why does this all work? This works because over 90% of content is unstructured and AI agents just thrive on this unstructured content. What we're doing in Box is three things. We're building an agentic platform so you can choose, build, and securely deploy AI agents. Second, we're building AI agents right into the platform so you can extract metadata, search across your content, research, Q&A, and even create content using AI agents. And finally, we're making sure all of this is integrated seamlessly. So Box has already built over 41 actions for Agent Force. This will soon include Box's AI actions for Agent Force, and we're also exploring additional product strategies around built-in agent. And one of the main use cases we've seen, and there's so, so many, is something as specific as leases. We have companies that have large, large leases across the United States. And answering a simple question, which you may find as simple, such as when, what are the leases that are expiring in the next 30 days, is actually really, really hard. And in order to do this, this company deployed Box AI agent for extraction and was able to classify and get the right insights from hundreds of leases that are really complex with a lot of data so that they could do audits and answer these types of questions. And there's so, so many more use cases such as this, specifically when you think of the content that's in Box and the content that's in Salesforce and having agents being able to go between these to answer questions and help our customers. So you guys are both building agents. You know, you showed you're building an agent, Tom, you're building an agent. You're both listing those actions and some of those agentic capabilities on the agent exchange, but you're both dealing an enormous amount of content, but your, your agents, they're not talking to each other. So how, how do we fix that? You showed it. What are some of the most significant challenges that enterprises face when they start to adopt multiple AI agents? And how's Box thinking about managing this complexity? Yes, our, our agents will talk to each other. And one of the most important things that customers need from all of us together as we work together is making it possible for customers to seamlessly interact across different agents and making sure those interactions are secure and data that isn't meant to go across these systems doesn't actually infiltrate into different systems. And that's exactly what we're working on. In fact, we're already integrated into A2A. We were a launch partner with Google and it, we're already a part of that space. We're also supporting MCP calls. In fact, we're bringing our MCP server to major registries and are excited to explore this opportunity, obviously with Salesforce, to deepen our AI and agentic partnership forward. So Gary, go, going back to you now, can you share how, how we're thinking about that a little bit, how Agent Force facilitates interoperability and orchestration of agents across different tech stacks and how our open partner ecosystem plays a role in scaling Agent Force and really scaling digital labor? Yeah, totally. I, I touched on this earlier, but with Agent Force 3, we're bringing secure support for open interoperability for standards like MCP and A2A. We're able to do that with Salesforce's new AI agent gateway. It supports both MCP and A2A in a way where customers can securely connect AI agents to enterprise systems and third-party tools with a registry and policies that help govern their use. So along with that, we've got the newly expanded agent exchange, which makes it easy to discover and deploy trusted external tools, pre-validated MCP servers, and eventually external agents through A2A, allowing customers ultimately to fast track their agentic deployment and development. Uh, Agent Exchange is going to be the place where we're listing those trusted MCP servers from across the ecosystem. And you're going to see that today through partners like Box and with others. Tom, on your side, how are you thinking about interoperability? How will it help Seismic deliver on this next wave of innovation? How is it going to support your business? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think when we looked at Agent Force for the first time, I think we all realized that the ecosystem was going to be the thing that made agents successful. Um, because you'd had companies for a while that were building, you know, the agent for their platform in very bespoke ways, right? But they were doing that. And, and you weren't seeing these companies being wildly successful because they were only solving a very small problem. And so when Agent Force came out, we were excited to see that, you know, probably the biggest ecosystem platform on the planet 
uh, really leaning into Agentic because we saw the future of what selling could look like. And so we knew that it wasn't going to be just seismic, that we'd have companies like Box and you know, other companies in, in the sales space that were going to latch on to agent force. And by doing that, now a seller that has a very complex job that spans across you know, Outlook and Box and Seismic and Zoom Info and you name it, right? They're, they're interfacing with dozens of tools a day, hundreds of prospects and, and you know, meetings to go to. Uh, that they have a complex job and, and that you need a multi-agent ecosystem to facilitate them doing that job in the best way. And especially as we start to look at some of those higher volume tasks that we think agents can completely transform the way that they're done, you, you have to have all those tools in your toolbox. Uh, and the agent has to be smart enough to, to know how to orchestrate among them and know the nuanced differences between something like my lease agreements, which maybe are in box, versus how to negotiate a lease, which maybe is in seismic, or the training for negotiating a lease being a different type of knowledge than your archival system. And so those nuances are things that agents need to understand deeply. And I think between the combination of A2A and MCP, uh, we start to see that future uh, becoming reality. And, and frankly, as seismic, we're very glad to see Salesforce uh, and other watch companies pushing the envelope on standardization, right? On MCP and A2A. Because a company like Seismic, we looked at them, right? But we weren't going to make the decision to say, hey, we're going to provide an MCP server or we're going to provide A2A. Uh, but when companies like Salesforce and Box uh, can make those, those investments and, and show the market that that's where things are going, it opens the door to all of these SaaS vendors and even like private independent third parties and companies themselves to, to really invest in those standards. And it's a win-win for everybody. So we're very excited about where the future is going. We're excited for agentic workflows, uh, especially the, the fully autonomous ones. Uh, and we see that A2A and MCP are really the way that Seismic and other modern vendors are going to be able to provide the same value proposition they've always provided, but to the next generation of the workforce, which is agents. And uh, maybe you heard it here first, but I call it Gen Agent. You know, uh, that's the next generation of the workforce, and I'm, I'm just excited to be part of it. Well, we're excited to have both of you as amazing partners and amazing part of our agent exchange. Um, we're also, you know, beyond thrilled to have so many amazing partners joining us and becoming a great destination uh, for all of this amazing interoperability, the same way we were when we launched the app exchange back in 2006. 20 years later, we're leading forward with the agent exchange here at Salesforce. So, that's all the time we have for today. Before we close it out, I'd like to invite our audience to check out the latest innovation on Salesforce's Agent Exchange. And for all of our partners to join our webinar in a few hours at 12 p.m. Pacific time, dig deeper into what the Agent Force updates mean for you. Registration link is in the comments below. And I want to thank Gary, Yoshoda, and Tom for joining me. Thanks to all of you for tuning in and have a great day.